Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Merlin Stack series. This is our e-commerce project and I think this is the 17th part of our series. Okay, so what we have done till now, let me show you. So this is our application and here we have categories. We can add the categories. We can add the children categories, nested categories and all right. We have also added this table in the last video so we can display the list of products. This is just a temporary display we are going to improve it okay now next we have uh, orders right oh okay just forget it so first uh, we are going to improve our code and so let's start with the login of an admin let's sign out and here we can log in and this is again email label is touching the edge of our navigation right so, okay that is the ui problem uh, but I'm going to fix uh, something. Uh, let me show you where. So this is our Merne backend folder and here we have SRC folder and here we have models and here we have the user. So here we are storing both admin as well as user. Okay, that is okay. And here we have uh, written something to show the password, right? So we are uh, getting the password from the user that is a plain password and we are using this big crypt. Uh, uh, function uh, bcrypt library to uh, hash our uh, password right so this is kind of a problem for our server side application and if you see the documentation of this bcrypt library here you can find the documentation so you can search for npm bcrypt and here you go this, this is what this is the library we are using so bcrypt here we have uh, this implementation right so so this is the uh, library Bcrypt we are using for our password hashing and this is the documentation also available here and here you can see if you scroll down there are two types of implementation we can do in our project. The first one is the async that is the recommended and the second one is the sync that that's what we have used in our uh, server side project in our backend application and that is not recommended in server side application. So synchronous function is not recommended in the backend application and we have used synchronous. So that's why we are going to remove this synchronous code from our backend application. And the reason is why you shouldn't use the synchronous. It's because JavaScript works based on event loop. If you don't know the event loop, you can think of it like a normal loop and you can think of an array right so in javascript every instruction or you can say every line of code uh, is stored in a array and uh, one loop iterate through the array and it executes every instruction right so whenever a synchronous function or synchronous instruction or code comes in the loop it halts the execution of the rest of the code until it finishes the execution of the synchronous uh, instruction or synchronous code right so what happened when loop iterates through every instruction it executes uh, every instruction one by one okay and whenever a synchronous code comes it it halts the other ex other code execution and it waits until it finishes the execution of the current instruction so in this case it is going to block other executions of the so in this case it is going to block other uh, code executions and let's say a request coming to our server side application that, um, because of the uh, because of the halt it is not going to execute and it is going to create trouble for the users right as you can also read a uh, description over here if you are not getting my point why is a sync mode recommended over sync mode right so you can read this article this is a small paragraph right so let's uh, so here we have hash and here we have added this virtual key so let's comment because it is not required right now and we cannot use uh, directly the uh, the hash function because it is going to uh, execute inside a callback or it is going to other way it is going to uh, give you a promise it is going to return a promise so you can use it then to show the password so let's let's comment this code okay we'll say comment it and let's save your code let's go to the controller and here we have admin and here we have auth.js right and here uh, here we are storing the password that is a virtual key right now so we are not we are not anymore using this virtual key right so first let's get the password and hash it for that we are going to import the library that is the bcrypt 
So let's say const and we'll say bcrypt bcrypt and require and here we can say bcrypt bcrypt and here uh, right here const will say hash underscore password right and here we are going to say bcrypt dot hash it's going to take the plain password so that is that's we have that's what we have plain password and then salt let's take the strength uh, 10 and it is uh, if we are not passing a, here we can pass a callback function like that and it, it takes two argument error and the hash so that this is going to hash is actually the password and here uh, we can write our uh, rest of the code like save the save the user and all right so instead of doing this uh, callback function I'm going to use a different approach because we all know how async work so I'm going to make this function the error function asynchronous function we'll say async function and here I'm going to put a wait so it is going to do the same thing like that but uh, we don't need to use a callback function so here we have a hash password and replace this password with hash underscore password so it's going to work exactly same like that let's save and now let's verify this code is working or not so let's go to the postman and here we have our uh, okay there we have here we have a api for less admin for the sign up now let's create an admin so here we have first name last name and let's create admin email admin 123 at the read web script dot info and password now let's send the request and see okay it worked admin created successfully and you can also verify it uh, by doing the login so let me go and check it either you can check in the database or you can also try a login so it is admin123 at the rate web script dot info password123456 now let's submit the request and it worked right so this is fine uh, here we have category here we have home so this code works right the same thing we will do for the user also so here we have a user control auth, uh, auth controller for the user and here we are going to do the same thing so let's go to the app.js and let's copy this line paste and make your function async and let's go to the cat uh, cart sorry auth.js oh, we are already in it let's go to the auth.js and now let's copy this line Mm, sorry, uh, auth.js and let's paste over here and let's copy this hash password and replace this password. So this uh, this is for our normal users for the customers. Also, we have to uh, uh, check in the login, right? Uh, so for, for the login, uh, there is a function that is the compare. So this is again written a promise. Here we can write this function, bcrypt compare plain password and the hash password, right? So let's go and here we have sign in and this is execute our code and here we are doing authenticate right so this is not this is a beautiful function we have written but because of the limitation of server side issue uh, we have to remove this right so let's go and go to the model uh, user.js and here we have a virtual password right no here we have authenticate function and here we have bcrypt right so yeah that we can do uh, okay here we can also write so we'll try let's try it so if it works then it's totally fine so here we're going to say await and uh, here we are going to say bcrypt sorry uh, it's bcrypt dot uh, compare compare and then we'll say the plain password right next we have hash password so we'll say this dot underscore hash password plain password this dot hash password now let's save and see if it works uh, then it is totally fine otherwise we have to change it okay uh, here we are using await so we have to make this uh, async function okay and now let's check so here we have crypt here we have admin application let's reload and let's sign out and let's try to log in again admin one two three at the rate password now let's do the sign in so this worked and also then that uh, it is going to work for the our, uh, our this normal customers 
so that is going to totally fine we have authenticate over here so this is fine right and now let's work on the products so here we have category here we have products and i'm going to remove this description right i will keep name price quantity and i will remove this description and i will add this category that is not a problem and when someone click on this product then we are going to show a model with the details of the product right so let's go and write our code so here we have admin now let's close this src more admin let's go to the source let's go to the containers now let's go to the products and index.js and also see what we can improve here so here we have a model right and uh, that is for the uh, adding a product like right? so let's copy this model and we are we're going to make our return is small right so let's copy this model or basically cut it from here and so that is for adding a product right let's say const render add product model And here we can say return right format document so render add product model copy and now let's go and paste over here so we'll say render add product model that is fine save okay and where we are going to write one more model for to, to display the details of the product okay so let's keep it uh, here const we'll write render show product detail right show product detail uh, model product detail model that sounds better so render product details model and here we're going to return a model right and it is going to take a few properties like show and handle close so show will here write something and then we have a handle close okay we have to write a function here and model title here we are going to say a model title here we are going to say uh, product details right now let's save and now let's create some state level variables so here we have show set show let's say const and here we write product detail model set product detail model that is use state and it is going to be false right save copy this name and here we are going to say uh, product detail model so that is false and now handle close so we are going to write a function again const and here we'll say uh, hide handle close right handle close product details model and here we're going to set product detail model that is going to be uh, false again okay, because we are going to close it right and now let's copy this and add here handle close or uh, we can do something better uh, just take because we are not going to do a lot of operations over here just going to close it set product detail model that is going to be false so we'll close it right and uh, okay no okay sorry so here we have handle close set product detail 
so we are going to make it false now let's write a paradigm we'll say product detail model and how we are going to so this is all like closing the model and here it is also false now how we are going to display the model so here we have a tr right we have the list of products when we will click and then we are going to display it say on click and here we are going to say uh, this so here we are going to say uh, show product detail model and we are going to pass an argument that is a product itself right uh, that is the product and now let's remove this description from here because this is too big and let's remove from here also or save and now let's write this function also so let's go and write So here we can see the product, right? Console dot log product, right? Also, let's take this set product model and let's make it true so we can display the model and so this is the model right we are we want a large size model so here we're going to size equal to lg save and now let's go to the components uh, folder layout uh, sorry uh, ui and then we have model index.js and here we are going to say size that is going to be props dot size save okay now let's go and let's reload the application and here you can see we don't have the model right something wrong so that is working and we have the category description product pictures and everything about every product right so that is fine but uh, it should display the model also let's go to the product and here show product detail model that is fine uh, set product detail model that is true so that is true and here it is product detail model true save Oh, sorry, we are not rendering this. So we'll say copy render product details model uh, just here. Save. Let's reload it and now let's click on this and you can see what we have product details model. It's working fine, right? So here we have Samsung Galaxy and all fine. So here we are first going to small the size of the table. So we'll write here style. font size is going to be 12 and that is fine right font size 12 and when we click we are going to show the product details so now let's go and work on the function so here we have this product details model right and here we are going to say row call uh, empty equals to six and here we're going to say label that is uh, name next we have paradigm so here we're going to display the name of the product right to display the name of the product we want the product right and here we are writing this set product detail model so we are going to write one more state variable so let's go and write const product detail set product uh, sorry 
set product details and here we're going to say use state that is going to be an empty object right or let's say null that is cool so product details and set product details now let's go down your function and here we are uh, going to set product uh, details and here we can say product now let's save let's remove this and uh, set product details where is the model here we are going to say product uh, details dot name right and save this let's go let it reload and property cannot read name of null uh, that is okay because it is null and we cannot read it so what we are going to do here uh, if product initially it is null and null means false right false will be uh, true like that and here we're going to return null solved right now let's go and here again we have, we have got Samsung Galaxy right and now let's give a little bit of styling so it will look exactly like professional dashboard so here we're going to say the key and here we're going to say style equals to uh, value right key and value so let's create a style file say style.css and here we, go, we are going to say uh, that is uh, key and we'll say the font size sorry font size is going to be uh, 14 and okay not 14 let's say 12 and uh, the font weight is going to be bold right and that's it font family that is sans serif for now dot value and here we use a font size that is uh, 14 and font family sans serif save let's go to the index now let's include the css file and also you can see we have product actions so this is not our uh, design and let's save let's go to the container action and here we have index.js and here we can say export extract from what is that add product right that is a product actions so here we're going to say product action or save okay cool next we are going to import style.css and here we have st not a style sorry because of react native class name and that is going to be key value click and here we have name here we have Samsung that is the value but things are a little bit of out of syllabus it is not like that mm, the size so here is a 10 and here it is going to be 12 Oh, sorry. Uh, it's because why? Actually, I'm used to work with uh, React Native also, and their pixel I don't use. Okay, that's why I'm writing like that. The two different platforms and their problem, right? 
So it is again 12 and this is 14. So here we have name and here we have the name of the device, right? Now let's go to the index.js and let's copy this call again, sorry. And here we're going to say the name and price. Price, right? Save. Name, price. Now let's copy this row completely. Category, quantity. Quantity, category, and we are not returning category, so we'll say dash dash here and just add, we'll add very soon. Next, we have a description. So that is going to take the complete uh, row because description usually will be large, right? Next, we are going to have a column uh, of the product pictures row call. And we are not going to specify anything because I'm, gonna, I'm going to consider the whole column call. And here we use the product pictures. So we'll say product uh, product details dot uh, product pictures dot map and here we are going to have picture and next we are going to have div right and in this div we are going to have an img tag src and here we're going to write HTTPS for uh, I'm right now hard coding it, but we'll use a variable, right? It should be a local host colon 2000 forward slash public forward slash. And let's do not use this double quotes. Okay, here we're going to say the so we can write our variable like that picture dot img right anything wrong okay save so product uh, picture dot img so this is uh, this is going to iterate to the loop now let's add uh, here style We'll say display flex. Now let's go check the final output. And here we are going to have a bunch of images. That's a very big, right? So this is what we have added in the last uh, last time when we added the product and we don't have the product images. So we have added this uh, logos and brands, right? So let's improve the code. So product img container product image container let's copy this name and not let's go to the style.css file and let's paste over here and here we're going to say with uh, that is 100 uh, uh, sorry width is going to be 100 pixel height it's going to be 100 pixel overflow is going to be hidden and that's it and it is like that right now let's go and also code for the image product image container and then we have image inside the product image container right so here we are going to say max hyphen width let's say 100% and max hyphen height 100% object fit or content so it is going to be maintain its uh, act the size complete size so image flip card and all right I think we have some good products also 
so this is like that and this is not centered and we forgot to add a label also here so we'll say label product pictures right and here we have product pictures and then we have product pictures so inside the call we have this let's take a div so it will be in the second line instead of just uh, in line right and now let's remove this style display flex from here let's add over here and it is like that product pictures right also add class name equals to key and uh, important thing uh, let's go to style.css and here uh, image uh, height image container let's say for the inline elements we can add a text line to make the objects in center right it is uh, I don't know why it works but it works and here you can see it is in the center so this is the 100 pixel block and this phone is in the center of this 100 percent 100 pixel right so this is how we have added our uh, product details and we don't need to display the save changes right so let's uh, try to remove and everything is working fine right so here we go product index.js and let's remove this uh, hard-coded uh, variable right so let's go to the uh, file we have created url config.js right so here we have this and here we can say export const uh, image we are going to create a function uh, generate public path uh, url file name and here we are going to say return stdp colon local host for uh, colon 2000 forward slash public forward slash file name save this and let's copy this let's go to the product pictures and here we have this right so let's remove this completely and here we can say generate a public URL and pass the file name so here we can say the picture dot IMG right and hopefully this is added so this is actually not added seriously it's just given me the hint generate public URL to save so general public URL is not defined URL config generate public URL so let's go and import that function port from from the URL config and here we can say generate public URL save let's go to the Samsung Galaxy Act. okay this is working right so we have created a URL all the time we'll pass the name of the image and we'll get the exact image because it is the path right so this is working fine also now let's uh, add this category so this dash dash is not looking good also we have written here dash dash right so let's go and uh, go to the back end so modern backend S SRC and here we have controller and uh, let's go to the category dot js uh, admin initial data all right initial data and here we have category right so let's populate the category first and we can directly pass the name to whatever we want to populate but this time we are going to pass an object it allows to pass an object and what data we want we have to specify in the path so we want the category data path that is a path because this mongodb works uh, based on the file system category and here we can say select and let's pass the underscore 
id and then name right now let's remove this and execute now let's save let's go to the postman let's check this working or not send the request and categories children products and you can see we have category and we have populated with id and we have populated with name right so let's go to the product controller and uh, here you can see sorry and here we can see we can say and here we can say uh, that is the product uh, details dot category dot name right save let's go to the application open it and you can see what we have we have samsung over here right also you can do same for the tr so where is the tr boy here we have tr product dot category dot name and we have got samsung right we have got samsung and i think we have inserted a product in a, we, a mobile phone inside the mobiles category right that's the wrong we have to delete this product so we have to add the functionality like add the product or uh, we have to add the function edit the product or delete the product right so till now we have just we can create the product and we can show the details of the product right so this is working fine as expected so in the next video we are going to add an admins tab and we can show the list of newly created admins so the other admins can see the uh, newly created admins and they can approve uh, approve them so they can uh, log in in the application and create products categories and they can manage the admin okay so thanks guys thank you for watching don't forget to like and share and subscribe